the EU reaction was a bit slow uh, in, in the very beginning, but then they suddenly realized this is major, Hi hijacking a plane, it could belong, to, it could belong to any member state. And this is about the security of the citizens on board and people on board and the whole future of, uh, and the whole status of civil aviation. So the EU really pulled together on this. This is the first point. Secondly, the sanctions, two levels of sanctions, more sanctions on people around President Alexander Lukashenko, uh, on the oligarchs, on business managers, and also uh, very important that Belarusian aircraft will not be allowed to enter EU airspace. And of course, uh, EU um, registered aircraft will not be flying into Belarus precisely because they're going to be afraid that they might be hijacked or taken down again in, in this way. So all in all, um, there was an element of unity in the EU, which is, is actually sometimes quite rare. Actually, uh, this might have a very positive galvanizing effect uh, for the European Union and uh, the United States to come even much more closer together. Uh, the Biden administration wasn't particularly interested in Belarus, but on the other hand, he's got very, um, very strong, um, forceful diplomats now placed in the State Department that do take an interest in this part of Europe. So uh, going ahead for the Putin summit, uh, Biden actually has a, a couple of more cards to play because he can actually say to President Putin, well, you know, what's your plan? What's your strategic plan with Belarus? And what cards are you going to put onto the table if you want the summit to be a success? There is another point to this summit. Uh, you've got to be very careful with the expectations. This is the beginning of a long process. There's a huge amount of uh, issues to deal with. Climate change, Iran, Syria, of course, everybody forgets about this and, and other issues, but of course, Belarus as well. But this is the beginning of a long process and the Biden administration to get any traction out of this, he actually will need the Europeans to support him as well. The Putin administration has always wanted to divide the West, to divide the tra tra uh, transatlantic relationship and also at the, at the same time divide Europe. The, the Europeans should go in united behind Biden's attempts to actually push ahead on a kind of new um, dialogue with, this, with Russia.